their, the inspiration for their spirits gone before them uh, has a bit of history. That piece began with the Redemption Song Monument, which I was commissioned to do by the government of Jamaica. I won a blind competition, and in 2003, um, that piece was unveiled at the ceremonial entrance to the Emancipation Park in Kingston in Jamaica. And after that piece was unveiled, the government asked me to make miniature souvenirs pieces of the monument, which I duly set about doing. And partway through that project, I became rather frustrated. But then I started to see these miniatures in a cottonwood canoe. We have these wonderful cottonwood canoes that fishermen paddle around the island. And I just kept seeing these miniatures in the canoe. I had a little bit of a struggle. How can I take my heel figures and make them, put them back into a slave canoe? And then my husband was reading a book called a True, The True History of Paradise by Margaret Cesare Thompson. And he just read a little passage which said, though the slaves were in the belly of the ship, their spirits had gone before them into the Blue Mountains. And that was my permission. You know, I realized, of course, we are eternal and that's what I believe. And so I set off looking for a canoe. And uh, as soon as I found it, I installed 1,357 of the miniatures into the canoe. So I, I took these exact Redemption Song figures and put them in the canoe and f made them face each other because I'm carrying the same message as the Redemption Song into the canoe. The, the Redemption Song piece is prayerful in its essence. I think of it as such. Two people in communion with the divine and also in, with themselves. My piece is, though it initially, as you look at it, it is about slavery. But it's, when you look closer, and you see that the people are actually whole, the, what, the little figures in the canoe are whole and full, and, you know, in a divine sort of feeling space. They're proud. They've come through it, above it. And, and that's what's important. We touch on the past, but we need to heal the patterns of the past, break from the past. It's just profoundly wonderful to be able to show at the International Slavery Museum. Uh, what an honor. Um, how wonderful that my canoe has finally arrived here. I hope it will continue on to other ports that were involved with slavery. That is part of the mission of the work. I would love people to take away uh, hope, um, change, that we can change our lives, that we can heal, that uh, we are in fact healing, and that the fact that the canoe is even being shown here is is a statement about that.